Hey Busters, and welcome back to another Daily 2. So today is day 18 of our Union Impact series. So, yep, yeah. uh, yesterday we didn't manage to get anything, so hopefully today's a lucky day. But still, you know, just really like that artwork. So hopefully we can get our Ragna Lordmon. We either got this guy, this guy, and this guy. So, twice, actually. <laughs> twice, so I got double, 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 so... If only we got double this guy. But yeah, um... Well, Crest God Rudumon is pretty useless. It's kind of fun, I guess. But uh, in set 4, definitely got to be a bit better. With the new uh, Koshiro effect. Blitz Greymon, as I said before, I thought it was pretty... Not pretty average, mediocre, but actually really good. With its uh, delaying effect of uh, Devolve, so... Imperial Dramon, as always, pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Forgot this, so... Our memory... Oh! Ooh! So, it was a bit off-camera, but I actually hit it, and I saw something sparkly. So, lucky day, lucky day. First of all, we got Tailmon. So, Tailmon here is uh, really good. I guess, um, currently, I'm kind of making a new de yellow deck. So running a DP reduction cost. So honestly, uh, when it's set up, it's pretty good. It does work well, but it is a bit slow, which is why I'm um, relying on uh, recovery. Although I don't run Shine Greymon, so it isn't really that good. But still, it's a pretty fun deck. Blossommon. So Blossommon's needed in uh, Curious uh, Absorb Evolution decks with Charismon. So pretty good. Evo 3. No, unfortunately, no EOE, unlike uh, Agromon level 5, but it has a higher DP, which is always good. Psychemon, 5,000 DP, 1315. Desperado Blaster, I do really like the art on that, that's really cool. Sorry guys, we can really get these focused. <laughs> and we got Cracker, so... Hmm, Cracker is like such a fun card. I really want to use it. Uh, it's like a f unfortunately one four cost a bit too high, but I really like the effect of you know when you play it, the opponent has to choose either discard one security of their own or let you recover one. So either way, it nets you one step closer to winning or makes it one uh, one step farther away for the opponent to win. Unfortunately, without a security effect, uh, you know. Still, if they, if this had a security of using its main, whoo, I would I think tons of yellow deck would run this, you know. It's like a one for one. So either they hit you and then it's like, oops, you got nothing. Or you're uh, kinda like a counter strike, so and we got So it's a normal silver, so it's not Omega Mon, but still Ragna Lord Mon maybe. You know what? Let's start from down here, maybe. Oh, we see some red. Red. Oh, Ragna Lord Mon. Ragna Lord. Mm, oh, oh, it could be. Wait. Blue. No. Free. No. I mean. Wow. Another Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a sign for me to make. A jamming deck, an Imperial Dramon deck, so I do like that rainbow effect. So well, Busters, this is our third copy. <laughs> you know? I mean, I guess technically our let's have put it see our second co usable copy. Since, you know, I don't like playing with uh cards from my collection, so still pretty good. Really good. Um Imperial Dramon, I don't think it came out in the uh, English set. I think the new English set was mostly set 1, mostly set 2, and then like just a few level 6s from set 3, but not blue because blue already had lots. So. But yeah, uh, for those wondering, it's a 13, 5, 5, 12, 4 with an effect of if you evolve this from a Pyreal Dramon or Dino Bimon, you, can, uh, you get minus 2 to evolve, so it only costs 3 to evolve. And it's got jamming, so yeah, because of like how the uh, text here is all kind of bundled up, some people kind of forget, but yes, Imperial, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode does have jamming, and right under it does have the effect of 
making all of your Digimon with jamming active. So, as you know, the combo is Pyildramon uh, with jamming, attack, hit one, evolve into it, make yourself active, attack again, Pyildramon's uh, evolution origin effect, COE kicks in, making it uh, active again. So that's two with jamming, and then normal hit for three, so really good card. So yeah, so fortunately, yet another double up, so man, that's uh, that's rough. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I think, what are we at? Uh, I think we got, what is it? Three, two, two, a Lilithmon, and Mastimon, so what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of nine super rares, we only got like five different ones, so that's rough. You know, that's rough, but still, it's always good, you know. Honestly, I really love, the game is really fun, so having, you know, double up on these is pretty good. And uh, yeah, uh, I think I maybe mentioned it, but like when set one came out, prices were insane. Then price two hit, like they all dropped. Like some of them still hit like pretty high, like uh, all fours v Dromon was like about 14 in the beginning. And then now set three, like even on release day, all of the like Imperial Dramon, which is like a tier one deck or S, like the high one of the highest tier decks, it's only like five bucks. So really liking how the um, prices have kind of stabilized, except for Omega Mon, because the Omega Mon's forty still. <laughs> yeah, so it's a three one five, so not bad. I think uh, some people run this in the Agro Blue uh, Green deck, so it's really good. I also actually made an Agro deck. Surprisingly, I put some tweaks on it. Like, um, I don't run Security Digimon. Instead, I run Set One uh, Yuki Darumon or Frigimon. And surprisingly, this new version of the Aggro deck is way more consistent. Like, I can consistently keep my hand at like a four or five, so that's really good. Dokugumon. Mm, I had ideas of using it, but not quite. If only it was five cost, it'd be so much better. It's a five-two-five, but it has a one-plate effect. Open the top three, and then from there, you can add any level five or six, one each actually. So that's really good if you manage to hit it. So I might play this in this new deck idea I have for Bancho, uh, Stingmon, and uh, Rusty Ranomon because uh, the new start, start the green starter deck came out. So. But yeah, uh, for those interested in the uh, new starter decks, I bought one of each. And I'll be doing an unboxing of that probably tomorrow, I guess, after work. You know, quite busy, so. Candlemon, 203 is pretty good. Do like the artwork, you know, you kind of have like the babies here. Funny enough, you know, comes from like, starts from smoke, turns to fire, and then just gains a candle, so. Really, did it just gain like another consciousness or... <laughs> Psychemon, ooh, Metal Edamon, so yeah, fun card I kind of want to build around, fortunately don't have Edamon yet, <laughs> not even one, so, but you know, I've seen it, it's like, it was in the uh, single bins for 30 yen, so I can always get some, do, do like it's effective on your turn, it's unblockable, and on the opponent's turn, gain 2000 DP, so that's pretty cool, and our, our Omega, nope, oh, it's red, could it be? Nice! Sylphimon! One of the cards we're missing. So nice. So, Sylphimon is a 733 for 7. It has the effect of when you evolve into it, uh, one opponent Digimon that's level 4 or less, its original DP becomes 1000. So, clearly, this is designed to combo with, I think it was uh, Akilamon, which has the effect of when you attack. I think maybe, maybe it wasn't Akilamon. Maybe it was uh, Poyomon. Not Poyomon, uh, shoot, what's it called? That bird, the Hawkmon bird, the, the baby, can't remember. I think it was Poyomon, but Puyomon, Poyomon, can't remember, but yeah, I think uh, it had an evolution origin of one attack, destroy opponent Digimon with a thousand or less, so that's the combo. Mm, the restriction of four really hinders it. I mean, I kind of wish it was level five, If it, but five might have been too strong for rare, maybe that's what they're going for, but and eh. I mean, you don't even have an EOE, so I think making it like level 5 kind of justifies it. Because most red decks, you know, they're not really going to run the Aquila Mon. So I could see it being fairly balanced if it was level 5. And it has the effect of also, as it's a dual color, it's also considered a yellow Digimon. So 
Not bad. I might run this in my yellow deck, maybe? Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. But still, really happy with this, although I can't use it for collection purposes, so really happy with that. But, yeah. That's what we got today, Busters. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Unfortunately, I, once again, for just opening two packs, I managed to ramble on until for, like, ten minutes, but, yeah. As always, uh, if you have any comments, leave them. Leave me some questions or comments down in the comment section below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another Daily 2, Day 19. Anyways, this Buster Coon here, off because he has runner's high.